In the U.S. each year, human metanumavirus is associated with approximately 20,000 hospitalizations among children younger than five years old. It can also severely impact older adults and immunocompromised patients. Most people have a metanumavirus infection by the age of five years. However, all ages are at risk for infection. The clinical presentation is usually mild and can include respiratory symptoms such as cough, fever, and nasal congestion. The symptoms are often clinically indistingu indistinguishable from infection with other common respiratory viruses such as flu and RSV. Human metanumovirus infection can also progress to the lower respiratory tract and result in bronchiolitis and pneumonia. Test results can help identify possible etiologic pathogen and help guide available treatment. The most sensitive method for human metanumovirus diagnosis is to test for respiratory specimens using polymerase chain reaction or PCR assays. Examples of respiratory specimens include upper specimens such as nasopharyngeal swab, oropharyngeal swab, and nasal wash, and lower specimens such as sputum, tracheal aspirate, and bronchoalveolar lavage. Patients with clinical or radiologic evidence of lower respiratory infection should have a lower respiratory specimen tested. Metanumovirus is commonly included in commercial multipathogen PCR respiratory panels. Antigen detection assays are also available for diagnosing infection. Healthcare providers can contact their state health department for assistance with laboratory diagnostics or consultation. There is currently no vaccine and antiviral treatment is not recommended. You can help your patients reduce their risk of respiratory illnesses caused by metanumovirus and other pathogens by reminding them to wash their hands often and practice good hygiene habits.